Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? And uh, this screen may look a little different to you, because it is. This is the introduction screen that you usually log on and see. The dashboard for Dota 2 it has been changed in the recent patch here. Um, as you can see, it's quite quite different. Um, this used to be down here, displaying your stats. This used to be down here. The chat was rather large, you know, it's kind of like the main part of the screen. And then everything else is in the center here. So um, definitely a lot of changes. Um, here's up. This is kind of cool. They got the blog and they got the update notes right here, separated. Um, new dashboard, new hero picker. I'm gonna show you that in a second. I'm showing you the dashboard right now. Um, Tree protector is enabled in captain's mode. Uh, Specter is fixed. Life stealer, spirit breaker, bounty hunter, black king bar. And um, I thought they were gonna. Okay, added ogre magi. Okay, so that's a new character, ogre magi. And I'll, I'll be showing you guys him in a little bit. <laughs> Okay, this guy here doesn't like the, uh, how oh, this takes up all the screen. Um, I'm not sure what that does. I kind of agree. Um, I think this might be a little too large. Um, there's a lot of wasted space here. Uh, I kind of like it the way they had it before. I feel like, I don't know. It felt very good before, and this is kind of weird. Um, I like how this how this looks. They changed the buttons and like the red in there. I think that looks better. The highlighting and stuff. That looks that looks really slick. I definitely like that. But I think I liked it better when it was all a space utilized put together instead of this all this red space around here. I was pretty surprised when I logged in. I didn't even <laughs> notice this, or I didn't even expect this at all. I knew they were adding the character, and I knew they changed the um, character selection screen, but I didn't know they were like this. Okay, this is cool. This is another cool feature they added. You can sort the heroes now by what type they are. So if you want to carry, and it shows all the carries, which is awesome, I think. That's definitely something they needed. Great improvement there. Uh, they show the escapes. I got good escape mechanisms. Um, durable. A lot of your strength heroes. We got uh, initiators. Sabler. That's going to be cool, and I like that. I like seeing the Sablers. Oh, you're Magi right there. When can I hit something? <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at him, I guess, while we're here. Um, intelligence character. I heard he's one of the sec one of the only intelligence melee, with Dark Seer being the other one. Um, he's got Fire Blast. Blast an enemy unit with a wave of fire, dealing damage and stunning the target. Um, ignite. Dresses the target volatile chemicals, causing it to burst into flames. The target is in immense pain, taking damage and moving more slowly. Duration increases, burn damage increases, and the slow increases. Slow doesn't increase that much. Damage doubles, almost. Uh, bloodlust. Uh, incites a frenzy in a friendly unit, increasing its movement speed and attack speed. So that's cool. Definitely a helpful thing there. Last 30 seconds, move speed pretty pretty good, tech speed pretty awesome when it's maxed out 50%. And his ultimate, um, bla unrefined fire blast, blast enemy unit with a wave of fire, dealing damage and stunning the targets. Or the target, okay. So, hmm. I guess you can't level that or something? Oh, wait, okay, so he's got five moves. So this is one move, this looks like it's his ultimate, okay. Uh, it's a passive. It enables the Ogre Magi to rapidly cast his spells, giving them greater potency. Gives a chance to cast a spell multiple times in one cast. Increases Fire Blast mana cost and decreases its cooldown as an area of effect to ignite and reduces Bloodlust cooldown and increases its aurea, area of effect. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Fire Blast mana increase. Hmm. Fire Blast Mana Increase. Okay. Not sure what that means. Night, night Radius is pretty obvious. Bloodlust Radius, Bloodlust Cooldown Reduction. Okay. So his ultimate is just helps his skills overall. So that's kind of cool. Nuclear Disabler and Durable. Alright, that's cool. Seems like a cool character to try out. I'll uh, definitely be trying him in a bit here. I'll show you guys that. Let's continue on. Here are the junglers. Nuker.
Dark Seers in the We are not so different oh, yeah. my enemies and I. Except my brain is my uh, support. No, that's pretty cool. Shall I support characters there? And then lane pusher. Broodmother, huh. Surprised she's not on there. Oh, lane support, not lane pusher, okay. And then we got a uh, pusher. There's a broodmother, okay. Alright, cool. So that's the uh, new categories they have there. That's awesome. Very glad they added that. Okay, socialize. That doesn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> um, so here's a new watch. There's recent games. There's live games. Filter there. Player. I can filter by player name, hero name, date range, tournament game. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. All right. Live games going on. That's pretty nice. Um, okay, let's do, uh, I'll show you guys the, uh, team pick. And find all, I'll do a bot game. Maybe we'll cheat for a minute. Okay, so create a lobby. Join the slot. And... Start game. A little box popped up there. Popped up there showing the new server. Or finding server display notification. Loading. I'm glad they're changing things. Um, it's always a little surprise at first. Everyone hates it at first, for sure. And uh, I don't know. I don't think it's too bad. I kind of liked it the way before, maybe because I've been using it so much. But I guess I don't mind this new one. I kind of got used to changes in betas when I played Diablo 3 beta. Yeah, they got changed all the time, and some stuff you love, some stuff you hate, but you learn to get used to it. And now uh, you kind of see the good in, in the new stuff that before you thought was kind of crappy. All pick. Alright, and a lot of people didn't like this. This is the card selection. Um, scroll through and this is neat for sure it looks cool it looks fancy and looks good and everything but um in a little lag here recommended starting heroes okay so this is the recommended starting heroes and these are all heroes and that does it, obviously that's gonna take a while to find a character and it's kind of inconvenient so there is this the grid view which is awesome and uh, that will show you all the characters. You can highlight them. Ten seconds remaining. Hmm. Five seconds remaining. So kind of is hard to view your skills. You can't really see them in this one. And you can sort by what uh, kind of stuff here: roll, attack, type, and stats. Hmm. Prepare for battle. So I like before how you could click on a character and instantly see all his moves and stay in the screen, you know? This one kind of jumps to the, this jumps to this screen. Okay, you can't see the skills like that. So if you want to see the skills, you have to jump between screens. It's a little annoying, I think. I don't know. This kind of is, it looks a little more confusing, I think. It does look clean. No, it looks good. It's attractive. But at the same time, the, um, the utility of it kind of went down, I think. I pick my hero. Thirty seconds to battle. Hmm. Um. Oh, that's cool. We can su suggest a hero. That's nice. So how do I pick this thing? I don't know. 
They do have do have new horns as you can see. Oh there we go. Big shark sleep. And I believe there's a new sound when um the courier brings you an item. Let's try that. So you can hear the horn was different there. Hmm, didn't sound any different. So I think that pretty much covers everything. Um New interface, new dashboard, new character selection. A couple new features in there and a new character, which I'll be displaying here shortly. So yeah, I don't know. If you guys uh, like it, if you don't like it, leave something in the comments, get some discussion going, see what you guys think about it. And uh, it's definitely new, it's definitely different. But uh, overall, I think it's decent. Maybe a little um, attention to style over function. A little bit in this update, it feels like. But, uh... Yeah, you can still get your way around it, though. So we'll see how it pans out, see if they change in the future, see if they accommodate for people's requests and stuff. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, I'll have Ogre Magi video up soon here. And, uh, thanks for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And, uh, see you in the next video.